But while this notion and this understanding that kids are different <laughs> from adults, we tend to think that they're clueless. For the most part, it's an ancient notion, but for the most part, it's actually been intuitive until very recently. What we now know is that this idea and this recognition that we have that kids are different, that they behave differently, we're not always sure they're thinking, is actually empirical. And we have research now that explains much about, excuse me, much about what it is that makes kids different. So we can look at pictures of brains of children, adolescents, and adults, and we can actually see where the developmental lags are. We can see when we look at a spectrum of brain images that the frontal lobe of the brain, where most of the executive functions are housed, where we ultimately are able to exercise judgment, assess risk, put the brakes on, is actually the last part of the brain to develop, and that it doesn't really develop and continues to develop until <clears throat> until the early 20s. We also know from the soft sciences, from behavioral researchers, from developmental researchers, developmental psychologists, as well that kids make decisions poorly. They do have an immaturity of judgment. They assess risk differently. They don't recognize long-term consequences and tend to only think about short-term rewards. And again, all of this, while for most of modern civilization has been intuitive, today it is now empirical. Well, while we as practitioners, advocates, individuals who are working in youth-serving agencies have been connecting some of these dots and learning from the science and research that is available to us, it turns out that the United States Supreme Court has been undergoing the same exercise. And so we have had in the last 10 years an extraordinary series of decisions by the US Supreme Court that in many respects have really flipped some of our traditional notions, have upended some of the US Supreme Court's own widely accepted uh, and entrenched views about children's rights under the Constitution.